Hi there. Sometimes when you get a jigsaw like this one, it's very annoying when there's a piece missing. So I'm going to show you how to recreate the piece that's missing. You're going to need a picture of the jigsaw, which is usually what you get on the box. So here's a piece I made earlier that fits in the space. And it's a pretty good match, not quite perfect, but then you look at a jigsaw from quite a distance usually. So what you're gonna to need to do is to take a photograph using a digital camera or your phone of the area where the piece is missing as close as you can get. That would mean using something like a macro, a macro setting on your um, camera or your phone so it's as close as possible but still um, in focus. There's some other things you're going to need as well. You're going to need a pair of scissors fairly small sharp scissors, some pins and a sharp needle and a flat ended narrow rod. Here I've made one out of a barbecue stick where I've cut the end off the stick and a magnifying glass will probably help as well. The magic ingredient which you're going to need is something called sugru which is a moldable resin that sets in the presence of moisture and it's available on Amazon. Here, we have a lump of it that's old, so it's not setting, but you can see it's like putty. And the new stuff, which is the one in the sachet there, if I took it out, molded it for a while, would set in about 24 hours. You're gonna need a computer with some imaging software such as Lightroom but there's lots of other alternatives so you can expand or contract the picture you've taken of where the missing piece is and match the colours to the actual um, jigsaw and you're going to need a printer and some photographic paper So first you need to take a picture on your digital camera of the jigsaw puzzle where the piece is missing. Remember this complete picture is on the box itself. Um, and use the macro setting on the camera. Try and make sure that the lighting is even. Then on the computer you need to import the picture and resize it so that when it's printed out the size matches the actual jigsaw. And you also need to adjust the colours so that when you print it out, they match again what the jigsaw looks like. And finally, when you print it out, if the jigsaw surface is glossy, you're going to need glossy photo paper. And if it's matte, you're going to need matte photo paper. Here's the picture I printed out earlier where the size is roughly right and the colours approximately match the actual real um, jigsaw. Um, I haven't thought of an ultra smart way of doing this. Basically, it's just trial and error. You need to tr get it as close as you can and then put the picture underneath where the real piece, uh, where the missing piece in the jigsaw is and see if it matches and if the color matches. And if it doesn't, go back and try again. Expand it a bit or change the colors a bit and so on until you get something that's right. So this is the slightly cunning part. You can see that I'm doing this on a flat table with a jigsaw on it and beneath the jigsaw is something spongy that protects the table from what I'm about to do. So be careful to do that. So you have to slip the photograph that you've put, that you've made, under the jigsaw And this takes a while till it matches
the image. Okay, and then taking a couple of pins, pin through the picture to hold it in place, and then taking a sharp needle, you have to go around all the outside and perforate the photograph and take your time and do it carefully. My pins come out now. Now you may ask why don't I just use a pen or a pencil and the answer is because the width of the tip tends to make it not the exact edge and secondly when you're done, you've got to remove the pen or pencil mark from the photograph. And in doing that, you can ruin the photograph. Okay, so I've gone all around the edge now. Now I'm gonna take the photograph out and turn it over. And you should be able to see I've got a perforated shape that's the same shape as the piece of the jigsaw. Now I did this quickly and it's not all that brilliant, but if you do it slowly and carefully, it's a very good image. And then you've got to take your pair of scissors or possibly a very sharp knife and cut very carefully around the edge of the um, jigsaw piece. You need to take your time and do this when you're doing this because it's easy to damage. Right, now for the sugru part. Um, I'm taking this piece of paper out of the way. What's underneath the missing piece now is a plastic bag, a plastic layer. And because the sugru sets in the presence of moisture and you need to get something like a Q-tip, dunk it in some uh, dunk it in some water and go all around the edge of the existing jigsaw and make the polythene bit a bit moist as well. This is some old sogru which I said has, hasn't set so when I did it for real with um, black stuff this worked. So you take pieces one bit at a time and using your flat ended tool push them into the cavity till eventually you fill up the entire cavity. Um, the instructions for sugru say wash your hands before you start molding the sugru and then you've got about half an hour when you've squeezed it a bit um, when you can use it. So take your time and fill in the, the gap um, properly with the um, sugru and it needs to be just below the level of the upper layer of the jigsaw because what you're going to do next is take your cut out piece of from the picture and put it on top and then you're going to put the whole thing in and leave it to set now that should take about 24 hours but actually after about four to six hours I dismantled all the pieces and pulled the jigsaw piece out so it didn't stick too bad. And this is the one I did properly, which is where you have a black sugru, which seemed to be the best background for this um, particular um, jigsaw, with the um, cutout picture piece on the top, and that's fitting it into the hole and Voila, you have repaired your jigsaw. Once you've made the piece, of course, you can trim it a bit if you want. Um, if you have excess sugru around the edges and things like that. Um, the piece I made fit, fitted pretty well uh, and the picture has stuck to it. But I would say the piece itself is a bit fragile compared to the rest of the jigsaw pieces, so you need to treat it with care. It's rather difficult once you put it in place to find it. So 
I think that's a testament to success. If you were just looking at this, you wouldn't know it had um, a specially made piece added to it.